Usually when people first glance at him, they think he's more about five or six years old. Um, part of the syndrome is short stature, um, so he definitely looks a lot younger than what he is. Matthew loves to get on his spinner, and he'll spin and spin and spin. He could spin for hours and stand up and just take off like he was never spinning. But no, overall he's a very happy. Um, but for at home, it's pretty easy. Um, sometimes it gets hard when we go out, but otherwise he's a real happy, go lucky kid. Probably one of the hardest things on a daily basis is balancing our time. Um, it's the hardest thing in the world to get time with Matthew and to get time with Peyton. Now, we love them both the same, but uh, it's, it's hard because they have different levels of entertainment. And so me and Peyton can play a game. We love playing this. She's beat me twice. Matthew won't sit here for this kind of thing. You've got to do computer with him. And it's a constant struggle in your heart every single day. Am I spending enough time with either one of them? It's just the hard part. Sister's involved in a lot of sports, soccer, and he's always signing Matthew and he wants to play. And in the past, there was never anything for him. I have a son who uh, had a brain tumor when he was a baby and he had some challenges and some ability issues, but always really kind of wanted to be a part of the crowd. So in the back of my mind, I'd heard and read about different programs that were doing buddy programs where kids with special needs could play ball with somebody that would help them play ball. And so I approached the park district and I said, here's what I want to do. I want to run a buddy baseball program. I don't know anything about putting it together. I just know that I want to do it. This is my idea and I want you guys to help. And I got an immediate yes. Now that we're in our fourth year, it is a cooperative effort. We both put our time, energy, and resources in it. We have kids of all abilities and disabilities. We have over 120 kids that play. The program is amazing when you watch our kids get out there on the field and have somebody either help them run or um, hit the ball. Um, we have kids in wheelchairs who um, have two buddies. One hits the ball and one runs for the individual. The parents have had kids who have never been on a team. So many of their brothers and sisters play ball, whether it be a soccer game or a softball, baseball, volleyball at school, and our kids sometimes don't have a place to be or to play. We have Matthew Lap up again. He has a blast, and his mother and dad and his family, his grandparents, are just, oh my God, they are loving the fact that Matthew's playing ball. When he hits the ball, he'll clap for him. First he throws his bat, and he claps all the way down to first base. and. That's the highlight of the game almost is waiting for that little Matthew to get up to bat because he is having a ball and he signs at home when it's at baseball night. The first year when I did the program, I got it set up, got it going, got it rolling. And my son said, I don't want to play buddy baseball. I said, are you kidding me? And I thought, well, that's all right. <laughs> you know? But um, yet the second year he was ready to play and he's played the past two years and again will play this year. And he loves it and his ability has, has really improved. He doesn't need to run with his cane anymore. and so. Um, tonight when he bats, he will be up there without his cane, which will be huge for us to know that the kid who had to learn to walk all over again um, is now able to go without his walker, his cane, his wheelchair, and he's going to run to first base alone. And I never thought that that would be something, and that's the credit that I take for the program, is the fact that my kid continues to, uh, to grow and able to do more things on his own, like the other kids really feel what a parent, what a child, uh, someone just achieving just something really small in a program. When you see that, when you can feel that, when you can experience that with them, it makes you jump out of bed every day and get back to work the next day and say, this is all worth every bit of the effort.